Yo, what is going on guys? It is me, your boy Lofty, and today we're going to be explaining how to get Rocket League Sideswipe on the PC. First thing is first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Google, search for Bluestacks, and you're going to want to get the latest version of Bluestacks. You want to go to download and then download the exe installer for bluestacks and download it. open it open the installer create a 32 bit instance yes you're going to want to do that uh, once you've installed you're going to get these three little uh, versions. One is the cloud version. One is an actual in your instance of BlueStacks, and then you're gonna get the multi instance manager. You're gonna to want to open the multi instance manager, and that's going to pop up with this. As you can see here, I've already got a version or an instance set up for uh, my RLSS and we're going to show you how to get this set up and what you need to do and what's kind of important for setting this up right so to begin with you're going to go new instance you're going to go fresh instance and then you're going to pick your system type and i, I mean i've got a 64-bit system i think most people will have a 64-bit system so it, like if you do definitely go with 64 i'm not sure if it works with 32 but i believe it does next and then here, this is important off the bat, find out how many cores your CPU has. You know, is yours a eight core? Is yours a six core? Is your four core? You know, whatever. Like the options in here, the base options are like safe options. This is in the scenario of you using like the least amount of power dedicated to this game as possible. But if you have a six core system, go, go to custom, change that to six core. If you want eight core system, I'd say go to seven core. You can use all eight cores if you want to. I'm using all six cores in my CPU, but if I had an eight core system, I'd probably use seven. So in this case, six cores. And then the RAM, we're going to want to set a custom RAM depending on how much RAM we have in our PC. But for now, pick four because you can actually do the full custom here when you're setting up the instance. Change the resolution to the resolution of your computer and then create and that's going to create you a instance fresh instance you can change the name of the instance by clicking on this little button to rename you can do that later for now you're going to want to start up this instance now we are into blue stacks this is 5.4 but you know if this if you're watching this in the future it's going to be five plus you know be six at that point and the first thing you're going to want to do once you get into here is go to the little settings cog in the bottom right and as you can see we did our custom allocation here now if you figured out what your ram is you're going to want to go to custom and the four four gigs of ram equivalents to 4960 finding out the exact number for your ram is not really that important because four gigs can also equivalent to 4,000. And let's say you have eight gigs of RAM, you could say 8,000. If you have 16 gigs, you could say 16,000. But I can't use, ooh, I've got 16 gig, but I can't use exactly 16,000 because you need to use uh, some, you need, you need space for, uh, um, the, the rest of your PC. So in this case, it says the highest I can go up to is 12,000. I'm using 10,000. Uh, just figure out, it, you know, it, it's gonna, it will warn you if you try to go too high anyway. You could use the max amount that you want to do here. It says I can use 12, two, three, four is my highest. Just figure it out, you know, like I said, four, you could say 4,000. Eight, you can say 8,000, six, you can say 6,000, whatever, right? Find out what's right for you. 
in this case we're just going to leave it on 4 gig because uh, I've already got an instance set up for this, I'm just showing you how to do it. Another important thing here is setting your frame rate, you want your frame rate, the game can only run at 60 so using the enable high frame rate if you can go over 60 doesn't do anything for the game, in fact I think it makes the game run even worse so just leave it capped at 60. Um, and if you are experiencing major frame drops and, uh, and after you change your to use more cores and use the amount of the necessary amount of memory you have, if that doesn't uh, uh, give you smooth frame rate, you can also enable a uh, V-Sync, which will help at least prevent the tearing. But what will happen is if your game does tear and skip frames you will lose a little bit of control in your car, at least until it catches up and you then land on the current frame that you're meant to see. Um, next place we're gonna go from here is we're going to go to graphics and you're going to want to change it from performance to compatibility. And if this is on DirectX, you also want that to be an OpenGL. Um, if this is on ticked as well, you wanna tick this. Next, uh, we're going to go to device, and you're going to want to use the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, and the provider should be whatever, like the prior, I don't think the provider really matters in this scenario, it's only really going to give you one anyway. Um, cool, and then once you've done that, and you've saved the changes, uh, we also, you're going to want to enable your game path, make sure the switch is on and make sure this is put on from the, from the beginning. Once all of that's done, you're going to save changes and that should reset your instance of uh, BlueStacks. Yeah, and then when you save, it's going to pop up with this window and you're going to press restart now and that's going to restart your instance of BlueStacks. And now we're back in BlueStacks once again. Now when, now when we're here, what you're going to do is go to the App Store. You're gonna to wanna to sign into Google. And when you sign into Google, you're going to search for Rocket League Sideswipe. Not the beta, just want Sideswipe game. And there, here you are. You're gonna have Rocket League Sideswipe. Then you're going to want to click download. I've already got it installed, so that's why it says play for me. But you want to click that download, and that's going to take a few minutes to download, as if it was going to download onto your phone. Once that's done downloading, you're going to want to click play. Very obvious, you want to click play. Uh, you could also check what's going on in the rest of your BlueStacks instance, just to see if the game has popped up as one of the options on in the menu but as you can see here we are in Rocket League Sideswipe and we're now able to play the game with uh, a controller um, on PC which is very cool when you're trying to launch this game for the first time and you've done you've gone through all of those steps you've set up you've made sure you've got it on the correct compatibility mode and the correct device and whatnot and you try and open the game you might get an error that pops up and says you cannot play this game on your computer you can only play this through the cloud version of the game and for that you're going to need to go into your system bios and enable virtualization now depending on what your bios is and depending on what your cpu is that option might come up with a different uh, looking tick box for me in my amd system it's i think it's svg you go into your bios and there's like a setting called svg and you then when you click to enable it in the little description it says enabling virtualization and what virtualization is is just allow, uh, allowing you to run a virtual system on top on your system all right well at this point you're going to have your rocket league side swipe fully downloaded and you're going to have your gamepad enabled you're going to be able to just be able to jump in and play now when you first start your your version of the game it's not actually going to look like this because i've done a few little tweaks 
to make it more enjoyable for me, first thing I did was if you go into your in-game configuration, I've turned all of the buttons opacity down to zero so I don't have to see them. You also will see little buttons pop up on the overlay and to change that you go into game controls which is this little tab right here and then the on-screen controls you're going to turn the opacity down to zero and uh, that's it all of the, now all of the icons that will be on the screen well all the ones that you want at least are all going to be uh, switched off and you should just be able to play the game. So if you have any questions about the process of how to get Sideswipe up and running, leave that in the comments and I'll try and get to that as, as quickly as possible. And if you enjoyed, subscribe because I'm going to be making more videos on how to improve at Sideswipe and things that you can learn to make yourself the ultimate beast of a player. Peace.